guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got my Ipsy bag to share with you guys. First of all, if y'all see some pink like stains around my face anywhere, it's from a video that I filmed for you guys yesterday. It's a Halloween video, you'll see it soon, but uh, I don't know why it stained my face. So yes, please ignore that. And also, if you guys are interested in these kind of unbagging, unboxing videos, I have a whole playlist on my channel. So go check it out. And while you're checking out those other videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is 100% free, just letting you know. All right, let's jump straight into the bag. Ooh, so this is this month's bag. I like it a whole lot better than last month's bag. If you saw my video for last month's Ipsy bag, I was not impressed by how the bag looked or felt, but this one is so much cuter. I love it. I love the gold with the black and the lashes. So cute. We'll go for the biggest item in the bag, which is this new Nema? Nuima? Oh, this is a lightweight leave-in protectant that detangles, hydrates, and tames the hair. Oh, okay, okay. So this is for the hair. Spray it onto damp hair prior to styling. Spray it onto dry hair prior to using hot tools. Well, that's cool. I don't think I've ever gotten a hair product from Ipsy before. At least I haven't. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh. Ah, oh, it smells really good. Yes, it did moisten the tips of my hair very well, so I don't know. I feel like this will work better when my hair is wet and I apply it. So I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know in the comment section down below, like usual. Oh, I totally forgot about the card. <laughs> okay, so the theme for this month is the question isn't who is going to let me, it's who is going to stop me. I kind of like that. I won't throw this card this time. On to the next item. This is the Hula. I think this is the Hula bronzer from Benefit. I don't know. Hopefully it's dark enough because, oh, I kind of already added a little bit of something. Let's see. Oh my god. It's so cute. I love tiny packaging. Oh, wow. It's so smooth. Can you even see it? Oh my. Okay, I guess this does work for my skin tone. I was worried that it wouldn't show up, but I guess it, it definitely showed up. I actually really, really like this. I was not expecting for this to show up on my skin, but it did. It gave it a very nice contour, like a glowy contour, you know, like a sun-kissed con contour. There's no like glitter or sheen or anything. It's just like, like it, like I've been in the sun, you know, kind of. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I, I like it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I've seen this so many times at the store and I never went for it because I was like, there's no way this is gonna show up on my skin tone, but it actually did. All right, let's move on to the next item. This is by IBY Beauty and it says City Limits. Oh my gosh. The packaging just gets cuter and cuter. Look at this. Adorable. This is their Lush Eyeshadow Single in Fire and Ice. Ooh, yes. This is so pretty. I have a lot of shadows like this, actually. This is like the most popular duochrome shade, I think. Because this is in like the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. I know Buxom has one. MAC has one. Wow, it is so pretty though. You can actually depot this, so that's good, but I think I'm I don't know, I would probably keep it in this little packaging because it's just so cute. Let's try it on the eyes. Just grabbing the palette that's closest to me. And this is the Desert Dusk palette, by the way. And I'm using Musk. I don't know why I don't wear this kind of shade more often. It's just so pretty. So I just curled my lashes and added some mascara and this is the look. I love it. It's so simple. Like, 
I just pop this on the lid and it's just so such a beautiful shadow that you can you don't have to go all out you know what i mean i literally just have two shades on my eyes right now i love this the next item is by oh my gosh it's a cheek blush but i never know how to pronounce this is it du duce du juice du juicy Doce? I don't know, but it's a blush and the shade is number 61 RSVP. Hopefully this is magnetic Let's test it out. This is not magnetic I don't know why they don't make these magnetic like I mean I know it's an easy fix to just put like a little magnet strip on the back, but uh, Points deducted for it not being magnetic, but let's see how it looks on the face. Gosh, I don't know why I'm going so heavy-handed today, but I'm just not expecting for these items to have so much payoff, but ugh. Okay, um, pleasantly surprised with this as well. This is so pretty. I love these kind of like, this is kind of cool tone too. It's like a cool toned, like barely cool toned, mauve -y, pinky blush. I really like it. So pretty. And actually goes with this eye look. Now for the last item. In the back oh okay it's like a chubby stick and it's by manica dar lip locked step three priming lip wand and it's in the shade bell that's nice oh it's a twist up cool oh wait let's swatch this first this is like a barbie pink uh let's see it's like a barbie pink with like Purple and blue glitters all up in it. I don't know, but I'll try it out for you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <clears throat> it's bright. It's very, very bright. Uh, it's not transfer proof or anything. I can tell you that. It's it's comfortable on the lips i mean it's it's a good lip product it's just something that i would probably never wear unless i'm doing like a video like a makeup tutorial or something but in, in real life i probably would never wear it um it's uh, again i mean it's not horrible it's i don't know <laughs> this actually reminds me of like this little makeup kitty set that I had when I was little and it came with like a matching lipstick and a matching nail polish and this is the exact same color oh my gosh the lipstick wasn't as opaque but the nail polish hands down same exact color it looked like one of those like Spanish flamenco dancer dolls you know my dad used to buy those for me it's all right it's all right the lipstick is all right would I throw away this lip color no would i pair this lip color with this look no would i repurchase this lipstick no all right guys so that's everything that was in my ipsy bag for this month so my favorite items in this month's bag have got to be this hula bronzer this duochrome eyeshadow and this blush love these three items so that's it for my ipsy bag unbagging i hope you guys enjoyed please let me know what you guys got in this one's bag and if you liked it did you not like it did you get this lip color what did you think let me know but other than that please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye